Welcome to Mark's Whiskey, episode number four. As always, co-host Michael Arms of the band Cradle Man. We've got Jeff Morris on the other side. I'm Mark Karras, and this is my whiskey. Uh, it was pointed out to me that we actually didn't cover rule number three in the third episode. So uh, just to go over them again, rule number one, always sip, never slam. Rule number two, never let tap water cut your whiskey. And rule number three that we forgot last week is never mix good whiskey. If you're going to mix something a little lower down on the shelf, maybe a Jack Daniels or Evan Williams, maybe even a little lower if you're uh, low on funds, but uh, never mix good whiskey. It's, it's meant to be drank either on ice. Learn to appreciate and enjoy. Yes, yes. So... Uh, this, uh, this week's whiskey is uh, a local one from uh, Washington State. Uh, as far as we can tell, it actually is Washington State. Uh, you said you actually visited the distillery? Uh, no, but I've used bottles, or barrels in order to brew beer in. So. Oh, okay. So, uh, but uh, yeah, this is Dry Fly Washington Bourbon. Uh, this is a 101, so uh, proof. And uh, it's uh, definitely, you know, if you swish around your glass a little bit, take a good whiff. It uh, it definitely has uh, you can you can smell that 101 in there. Oh yeah. So uh, very present. Yeah, but uh, let's take a sip. For being 101, it's not bad. I mean, you can there's plenty of flavor there. Kind of fruity, I would say. Yeah, little little. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's not as bitey. Yes. Really? Especially as you would expect from for a 101. For a 101 maybe, yeah. but uh, it, it, it definitely had a little... You're going to put, put some yeah. in your belly. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. there. There's no doubt about it, but it you know, wasn't as strong and hating as I expected. Expected for a 101. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, uh, I don't know, how, how do you think it uh, compares to the whiskeys of past weeks? I think I prefer this one chilled. Um, and because it's a little stronger, uh, personally, I like... On the rocks, you get that nice bite in the beginning, and then it mellows over time as you let the ice melt. Again, no tap water, but as long as you keep it filtered, it doesn't screw up the whiskey. Um, I think it's a perfect candidate for that. Okay. That's a great point. I would absolutely yeah. agree. Yeah, yeah. I've actually, uh, as you can tell, this this is not uh, very full. I've been sampling this for, for a while. As This and several of the other whiskeys I've bought inspired this podcast to be. So um, I, I can say I've had this on ice several times. I've had it straight like this, neat, uh, several times, and it, it definitely goes well on, on the rocks. But uh, as you pointed out, rule number uh, rule number two is uh, never let tap water touch your whiskey. So make sure your ice cubes are done with uh, filtered water. But uh, anyways, uh, recommend, don't recommend? I would recommend if you're looking for a 101 that's not going to make you choke. You know, give yeah. it a try. Yeah. It's, it's great. definitely uh, far from undrinkable. I mean, it's right. good. Yeah. Uh, I've had some bad whiskeys, and this is not one of them. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I think the price is somewhere around thirty bucks. So uh, yeah, thirty to thirty-five. That was at Trader Joe's. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we found uh, my wife found it at Trader Joe's. So uh, yeah, all right. So uh, anyways, uh, yeah, Dry Fly Washington Bourbon One Hundred and One. Enjoy. Where am I going? 